Hey guys, Dave Smith here, Factory 5. I'm here with Nate Johnson and we are here to talk coupes. It's our 30th anniversary. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of looks of coupes and we're gonna end with a very special coupe today. And we're gonna give you special news on the carbon fiber, right? We are. All right, so what do you got here? I know guys have said to me, if you had to walk out of this company with one car, that would be a tough choice. This is the car I take with me. I drive this car, I feel like I'm Dan Gurney. It's my favorite car, handles high speed, got a Coyote in it, IRS. This car, there's not much I can't do with this car. Um, Nate, you've driven this car. You've gone on road trips. What do you think of it? I love it. It's a, it's a sorted out car. One, it's just a fun car. It, the vintage looks of it, everyone loves it. They love the newer Forgiato wheels. They're a throwback to the Halibrands. I didn't know if I would like the Forgiatos because I'm a traditional guy. I like the blue and I white. I, I like the gumballs. I appreciate that you let us try. And I think <laughs> they look it, good it, you know, They do it. Everyone gives us compliments on it. Um, it's just, a, it, this is basically the quintessential Daytona coupe, right? This is what everyone was looking for. This is what, like, when you were younger, the Dan Gurney cars, these, this was the color scheme. But it has a modern flair with the Coyote and everything else, but you still get the looks of the vintage looks. So there's nothing like it on the street. You can see it on the website, you can see it in videos, and but nothing replaces When you see one of these cars come down the road, it is the most distinctive shape. It is a great white shark among a bunch of minnows. I mean, it Ab is Absolutely. I think the, apex when, predator. when you say this is the car hands down you would take, I would say, 99% of the people that come into the showroom gravitate toward this and they're like... I mean, the Cobra's king. Everybody correct, knows they absolutely. love the Cobra, but, yep. you know, this handles speed better. Let's check out a race car here. Let's uh, yeah. check out maybe uh, Joey Logano's car that we built with Snap-on. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yep, let's do it. All right, now, as much as this is a street car, this is a bad A race car. I mean, we're talking Trans Am quality car. Full cage, fire if suppression. Ask, if you ask yourself the same question, what was the what was the car I was going to go with? But it was for a race car. There we go. Yeah. So Travis just pulled in. It's nice to see this bird out. We haven't had it to the track. COVID shut down no, a lot of tracks. Yeah, We're we ready to go back out. Hey guys. It's yeah, a little got, heavier. Got... Full cage. You know, when we launched the Gen Three Coupe, I was surprised how many people built an R chassis for the street. You can do it. Loved it. Yeah, people love it. It's hard uh, to get in and out though. It's hard to get in and out of your full-size gal like myself. <laughs> it's hard to get through with those door bars. It's already hard enough as it is with the regular door. But once you're inside this, this thing is an absolute beast. And this so one, the differences between the street coupe, the Gen 3, and the race car, you got a full cage. Now yeah. we put fire suppression in. We made this is a Trans Am. Yeah, this is a legitimate. Car. Yeah, this is probably it's probably legit to run a Trans Am as it sits. I as think. As it sits, yeah. And, I mean, and aero has been optimized, so we got yep. good downforce front and back. Absolutely. First time I drove it VIR. I was warming up the tires. I went into turn one. And I just jerked the steering wheel to make it push, and and it turned so hard to slam my head against the bolster. I'm like, yes. Right. Yeah. No. That's good. We definitely have the arrow. Uh, it's aggressive looking. A lot of people like I want to run the arrow on the street. You can do it, but be prepared to be ordering some replacement parts from us. She's pretty low. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, we it's a great them, car, great race car, great street car. Absolutely. Two coupes, two flavors of the same car. You know, I'm kind of a horsepower fiend now with this GT500 powered Cobra, and this thing is a beast, but when you get to high speed, it's not that much fun. Right, right. Let's talk Motor Trend. You did the Motor Trend car, so you're gonna have to tell us about the, the Motor did. Trend car. Yep. So we got a race car and a street car, and then this is a very special Motor Trend magazine build. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah. God, I love that car. That color is just perfect. Oh yeah, it is. I'll tell you what, that red is off the charts. Fantastic. It is. No, it is. All right, talk to me about this car. So we got Nick pulling up. Nick pulled up in this. Uh, this is our Motor Trend. It was their 75th anniversary. It was actually a joint thing because it was actually Motor Trend and Hot Rod one year apart. I think Hot Rod was started one year earlier yep. before Motor Trend. Um, and we went and they wanted to build this at Motor Trend's uh, headquarters in El Segundo. Uh, built it in the offices with the staff there. I'm not talking about the, the uh, mechanical guys, the guys doing the TV shows. I'm talking staff, legal team, uh, yeah, HR, janitors, yeah, sectors, HR. everybody. Can you yeah. Imagine HR doing yes. this. I had to be on my best behavior. I was a little nervous. It's a big company with HR. I'm like, Ugh. no. I mean, it's not the original hot rod building, but to me, in my generation, this is the building in El Segundo where all the great stories were written. Same with me. I mean, my whole life out of there. Is always, yeah. It's always been there. Uh, it went way back with with Canaan and all and, that. And yeah. Lorenzen did all the shooting out there. Yep. You got the series still there. They were moving out of the building. This is the last car that was built in yeah, that building. Very cool part of we that story is, it was, yeah, we were shutting it down. They were actually packing up while we were finishing it, which was sad in one way. Uh, but last car built there, 
and Laskoff photographed in that famous studio. They had this amazing studio that they've used for pretty much every magazine cover you've ever seen from them was shot in that, all their article stuff. It, it's this beautiful infinity wall. And uh, this was the last car shot there. So it's kind of so sad. So they built cool. it though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, they built it as a street car though. Very much like the yep. Coyote, the Gen 4 Coyote. Gen and 4 we didn't Coyote. mention 5.2 yeah. Illuminator. That's 580 horse. That yes, race right. car is proper. Right, yeah. Big dry drive. sump, really proper built. This car though was built as a street car, right? Street car, uh, built over two weeks. We flew out there for one week, worked with a bunch of people, then came back a couple weeks later after SEMA. We had SEMA in the middle of it. Came back and. Uh, Finished who, it off. Who did the graphics on it? And, and this color was exceptional. We've done reds, and this red just exploded. Yeah, there, so there was basically a small group of guys there that were just championing to have this, to bring this project in there and to really spark some drive and, and, and get the people back to their roots of, we work at Motor Trend. Yeah, we might be the computer IT guys, but we're gonna build cars. When we went down there, that was uh, Scott Shaftstall, T. Tong, uh, Jeff Dawkin. Dawkin did all the design work for this. Uh, we've actually had them. He's actually, we met these guys, got to know them, good guys. And they've all, all three of them have done little side projects for us. So it was awesome to meet those guys and to do this. But yeah, Dawkin did a great job on this. He actually designed all our 30th anniversary swag. So I mean, all I kind of like it because it's, it's kind of a changing of the guard. You know, the magazines, we grew up on magazines. You come in, you know, middle of the month, the magazine's in your mailbox. Yep. This was built, and John McGann was the editor, Hot yep. Rod, and, and they're running. Right. Um, so this is kind of a end of an era and a beginning of a digital era. This was covered in their, in their digital yep. media. Yep. Um, now, we've got three pretty cool different versions of the coupe, but we've built a really special car for our 30th anniversary. If you followed us, our 15, 20, and 25 year anniversaries, we did our, our Cobra replica. That was our kind of our, our mainstay. And for our 30th, you know, Nate was pretty successful in convincing us to add the coupe to the to the mix. Um, I think we got just a, a few short, uh, less than 10 left out of 30 we sold. Yep. We sold all the Cobras. But the special thing about Daytona Coupe, we got a whole bunch of things we can go over on it, is the carbon body. So let's right. check out the uh, 30th anniversary Fact 5 Daytona Coupe. <laughs> Wow. Nice job, Dave. The piece de resistance. Mr. Carbon. Wow. Nice job, Dave. Thanks. All right, so uh, this is our best work when it comes to coupes. This is the- Hands the down. Only carbon fiber bodied coupe on the planet Earth and in known existence. Um, we've got 30 bodies. I think we got, what, four in stock right now? Uh, a customer pick it up tomorrow? Yep, customer pick up the first one tomorrow. Um, and uh, then, yeah, yeah let's three talk more. About the, let's talk about the anniversary coupe. Uh, from soup to nuts, uh, chassis all the way up, and we'll end with carbon body. And I think we got pricing news on it, right? We do. What do you got? So we want to talk about, if we're going with, uh, line by line, you have the bronze, custom bronze chassis, uh, bronze stitch seats, anodized black aluminum panels, custom uh, decaled or lettered Willwood brakes, Coney double adjustable shocks. We got those. That was hard to get. That was those, were, those were, yeah, those yeah. were, and we it, got saved yeah. just enough for the anniversary. Yeah, car. basically since COVID, they haven't been available. Yeah. And we were able to get enough to do all 60 cars, the 30 and 30. Yep. Uh, our 18 inch, this one has the 18 inch Halibur right, wheels. So you, can get you can also get 17s in the bronze color. Yeah. And by the <sighs> way, they've been, they've been slow. The guys who have gotten the Cobras, are waiting for the anniversary wheels. Right. And yeah. the guys that have gotten the coupe special editions are building their cars. What we haven't released is the body. Correct. Um, let's go interior. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, out of order. The yeah, and, and you know, honestly, seats. it's on the website. Yeah, right, right. Diamond stitch seats, custom Vanson uh, leather um, shifter boot, e-brake boot. You should have led with that. That's like your favorite part of the whole car. The Vanson? Yeah. I do like the Vanson <laughs> shifter boots. I do. I, anyone who, and I would figure you would be because this is the, the motorcycle side of the road racing. Yeah, absolutely. I had no idea this company was, when I saw Vanson, you, I remember you wearing Vanson leather jackets when I was yeah. you know, a kid here. It's a great and, uh, company, yeah. yeah. And I thought for sure, just like everyone thinks we're a California company, they, I thought Vanson was a California company yeah. and I always knew there was a, a warehouse in Fall River. No, that's the headquarters, world headquarters, just like we're the world headquarters here. Two oddly placed companies, but we'll take it. Take on that dash, yeah. too. I mean, the uh, interior is highlighted full by that. Full carbon that dash, dash. Best dash we've ever done. Yeah, best dash, I, and that dash will be available, I think, in the future for As an option. As an option. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to standard with the carbon body. Standard with the carbon body. Custom gauges that are serial numbered, 1 through 30. Um, like I said, the seats. Uh, then you get down to the nitty gritty. You have floor mats, the 30th anniversary, 
Uh, and again, the Vanson leather bag, which is not in the back here right now. We must have it in the showroom. Right. So, I mean, yeah. this is our 30th anniversary, you know, coupe. Like I said, we've got just shy of 10 left and they're on the website. We may have missed some of the features that go into it. We really put it into our best work. Let's talk about the carbon body. Now, we cleared this. We've got a carbon body in the showroom that's going tomorrow to the first customer. Correct. Yep. Um, we cleared this with a satin because out in the sun, it really looks good, but you don't have to. I almost wish we didn't. I think it looks Probably better we did, it, 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 I'm happy. I think it looks awesome, but it was kind of cool to see it the other way too. And we'll show you guys what we'll show you what it looks like right out of the pack. Well, check it out. But here's the first of all, you cannot buy a carbon body for a coupe unless you buy an anniversary car. We're doing 30 of them. We may not do more than 30 right now. Pricing. And this is tentative. But if you order now, you can lock in your price at what? What is it? Twenty nine nine ninety. So 30 grand. 30 grand. And it's not you don't need to do paint. I mean, tell me about the panels and the alignment, because this is a no paint body. This is a carbon fiber body that's cleared and it's cleared from the factory in a satin finish. We added Correct. this on top. Yeah, it's, it's more of a, I consider that more of a matte finish and then this is a satin finish, yes. Stand yes, corrected, yes. stand corrected, yep. yeah. Um, and we put the stripes on and stuff. So let's go to the showroom and check out the actual carbon body. But you're talking about paint jobs are today 10 to 15 grand. And at least. Yeah, and so, so the carbon, you know, half of that price of the carbon, you're eating away with paint work. We chose to put a stripe on it. You could put vinyl on it. You could paint it. I mean, you could paint it still, but the sure. cost of paint now is going to be dramatically less because there's no body work. Yeah, no seam You're work. talking about wet sanding and spraying it, right? And the way, yep. And the way you see uh, the seams and the gapping, this is not us touching it. This is ha how it will come to you as a customer. Everything is already cut out, rounded off edges, and just all the body work's done on it. It's In immaculate. addition to the body, you get, obviously you get the doors, you get the dash, you get the, the duct bill in the back. Yep. Um, what about the small scoops? We didn't do that in carbon, did we? No, we did Those not. Those come in fiberglass. I'm sorry, you had to bring it up in front of the whole internet. <laughs> That's important that everybody bring knows it up in front of the whole internet. I screwed up, guys. We did not do the scoops. Um, but yes, uh, some people like the scoops, some people don't. But we but that's what's it. standard. But you don't get the cool Greg Knoll sticker. That's that's only on my car. So let's go check out the carbon body. So the boys put one of the carbon bodies in the showroom so you guys can get a look at what they they kind of as they're shipped. Now. Nate, what if a guy already has his anniversary car and he wants to buy the carbon body? What's the deal we're going to make on that? So the deal with that is you buy the carbon key, coupe kit, we will pay one direction of the shipping. So you would pay the money for this and pay for Stuart to ship it or come pick it up and we would take your body back. So, but it's so still, the, the 29 grand is the upgrade price. Twenty nine nine. Correct. You buy a Daytona Coupe, one of the remaining anniversary cars. You pay the upgrade, and that includes the deduction that you're not. So if you already have a coupe and you're working on it, you can bring the fiberglass body back. Yeah, if you give and, it, and if buy we this take for the, the body back, price. Yeah, and yes. we'll pay for the shipping of the new body Correct. out to him. Yep. Unless he comes and picks it up. Correct. All right. Um, this is how it's shipped. We can get some close ups. We'll do some B roll of this size so you guys get a good look at it. Um, it is phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's our best work. Um, yeah, I was at SEMA and they had a, I don't know, what was it? A, was it a charger that was carbon? It was over last year, the 60, it was a 69 Camaro. It was, yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, you know, $750,000 yes. for I'm the like, body. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, this is our best work, uh, from a strength standpoint, obviously carbon is a lot stronger. The tensile strength of the fabric is you know, eight times stronger or something, but it is a little bit lighter. This laminate is not thin. I mean, remember the body's carrying its own weight. It doesn't have to be thick, but we want it to be substantial. If you wanted to get onto it, you can, but it's strong as, na as nails. It's beautiful. Anything else I missed on the carbon? You got the doors, the dash, no, the duck bill. Uh, the this process the of the this, over here. the process, if you're a composites guy or a composites nerd like I am, this is 100% Prepreg carbon fiber done in an autoclave. There's actually a lot of cost, a lot of companies will lay down a layer, and we've done it. Uh, we lay down a layer of carbon on the mold, then put fiberglass behind it for thickness, then put another one, so it looks like it's carbon. It is carbon, and it is lighter because you're able to make put less layers in. This is 100% stacked carbon. This is all autoclaved, perfect uh, resin to gla uh, resin to carbon ratio, which is still glass, but resin to glass ratio. Uh, this is the same stuff that is, you know, Lambo kits, uh, like the Lambo Aero even, kits. Even and stuff. vacuum banging, you can't get that ratio. No, the pre nope. preg comes already mixed. It's like yep. ninety six to yep. four percent. Perfect. It's it's perfect um, ratios, and then it's put in autoclave, so all the atmosphere is pulled out, so there's no room for air to even live. And I think the biggest challenge on this, and it explains a lot of the cost, is lining up the carbon fabric. If you look closely 
at the seams, they come together because these are bolts of fabric. Yes. Unbelievable workmanship yes. and no body work. So you can run this. Frankly, I almost wish I didn't put stripes on it. I just run it like the What Batmobile. I was truly but amazed yeah. was, was how straight the seam was. And I said, when you asked, you're like, hey, Is let's stripe this one. I said, oh, if that thing's off a quarter inch, you're going to see it between those stripes. There's only a one inch gap between the stripe. It's not. Dead nuts the whole way. Yeah. Don't know how they do it, but they've done it numerous, you know, every example we've seen, they just, they right, have well, something to, to ask. We've been riffing for a, long, a while. We've got four amazing Daytona coupes here. You come to Vincent Factory 5, you can check them out. I've taken people out in my blue car. I, I, I drive that car a lot. Um, the Motor Trend car, it's still got the Michigan plates on it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know if Motor Trend knows that we still have it. <laughs> um, this is our best work. The 30th anniversary coupe is part of our, our celebration of 30 years. Last time I mentioned, I was like, yeah, I can't wait for our next 30 years. And Nate was like, oh, <laughs> um, maybe I'll be around, but uh, it's a big deal. And this is the first time we included the coupe in it. Um, hope you like what we've done. Like I said, if you want the carbon, you have to buy an anniversary car. And I honestly cannot tell you if we will do more than 30 of them. It's been a lot of work to get to this point. That it has. A lot of effort, and yep. I don't think we're, uh, we're retiring on these bodies. No. So uh, we want to make sure people have the very best Daytona coupes on the planet. Without a doubt. They can't, you can't argue with, if you have one of these in the carbon body, you're going to be in a very small group of people. Right now, it's a club of it. one. It's a club of one, and that's <laughs> us. Two tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. And hopefully uh, 30 by the end. But yep. uh, guys, Dave Smith, Nate Johnson, talk to you soon. Talk to you later.